Hey friends, welcome back to College Sports Corner. I'm Barry. This is going to be our week 11 review. We're getting there to the end of the season. Things are starting to shape up. Teams are losing. The playoff pitcher is starting to, uh, I guess, kind of put itself together. Even though there's a lot of questions and stuff every time a, a new poll comes out from the playoff committee. Uh, anyway, um, this show is going to be a little weird. I went to the eye doctor this morning that dilated my eyes. So if you see me squinting or looking over my notes really close, um, just ignore it. I look outside right now, it's like the fury of the sun is just blitzing through my eyes and shit, and I can't hardly see it sometimes. So anyway, we'll get through it. Uh, hey, if you like the show, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers, hit that little subscribe button so you don't miss anything. And let's get started with some news. A lot of things going on these last few days since Saturday. Uh, Washington Fire hit coach Jimmy Lake. He was suspended for the Arizona State game Saturday for he either punched or slapped one of his players in the head and shoved them on the sideline. Um, apparently, he doesn't have many friends there at Washington. Uh, players don't like him. A lot of the staff doesn't like him. So Washington finally had enough of him, got rid of him. Uh, from what I understand, he's a great coordinator. But when it comes to head coach, he's not very good. So good for Washington. They can start find somebody and maybe get back to those glory days Washington had for so many years. Uh, this is a crazy story. Listen to this. Florida National Butch Jones said he won't return next year as head coach. And get this stuff here. He says, administration there at Florida International is sabotaging the program. They're not allowed to recruit on the road for the last two years. I mean, that I can understand because of COVID and all that, but I know a lot of other schools have done it anyway. They had to use Mississippi State's old shoulder pads because they didn't have enough money to buy new ones. And the uniforms there, the Florida International, uh, are evidently they're nine years old. Uh, I don't know about that. I haven't watched many Florida International games over the last few years. But anyway, he's pissed and he said he's not coming back. I've yet to see anything what Florida International has said about this, but I'm sure something's going to come out soon when you say stuff like that about the university and your program. Uh, Texas running back, Bijan Robinson, out for the season. Uh, so is cornerback Josh Thompson. They're both out. Um, I was looking for reasons why, what injuries they had. I couldn't really find anything. I'm sure they'll pop up here in the next couple of days. Uh, here's another one. Miami athletic director Blake James has left the university. I guess he's pissed. What's going, things going on there, not going the way he wants or whatever. But anyway, he's gone too. Uh, this morning, Justin Fuente was let go by Virginia Tech. He was 43 and 41 in six years there. Um, then never really had much success. I thought he would because if I remember right, he came from Memphis. And he had Memphis's program going in the right direction. I figured he would do good there with the Hokies, but nada. Anyway, so that leaves now since this morning, Virginia Tech, LSU, USC, Washington, and Washington State all looking for coaches right now. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more to follow. A lot of people are saying maybe Dan Mullen's going to be next if he doesn't finish out the season on a good note. And there's a few others. So that's some major schools right there all looking. So some of these schools that have been looking for a while, like um, LSU, USC, Washington State, you might want to get off your asses and start making offers because you got these other Power 5 schools now. They're going to be looking for coaches, and they might just snatch up the guy you want. So quit screwing around in your office and start making offers to some of these coaches out there that you're interested in. All right, uh, last Thursday, Pittsburgh 30, North Carolina 23. Um, Pittsburgh Kenny Pickett was 25 for 43, 346 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. He was sacked four times. Uh, Jared Wayne, Lucas Kroll, Gavin Bartholomew will all have TD catches for Pitt. And Vincent Davis had a rushing touchdown. Sam Howell for North Carolina, 22 for 33, 296 yards, two touchdowns, sacked five times. But he also rushed for 28 yards and a touchdown. And Anton Green had three catches for 108 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, this game was 23 to 7 at the half. Then uh, Pitt, quit, uh, <laughs> Pitt quit sleeping, it says. And the game went to overtime. Um I remember when I was uh, watching it, I was watching the uh, social media too, and people were saying, what the hell's going on in Pittsburgh? But uh, Pitt pulled it out. They had 441 total yards. North Carolina had 384 total yards. 
Uh, Friday, Cincinnati, 45, South Florida, 28. Uh, Cincinnati Desmond Ritter was 31 for 39, 304 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. He also rushed for 65 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Ryan Montgomery rushed for 72 yards and two touchdowns for the Bearcats. Josh Wiley, Trey Tucker each had touchdown catches, and kicker Alex Bales was responsible for nine points for the Bearcats. Uh, South Florida quarterback Timmy McLean, 16 for 30, 245 yards, one touchdown. Two interceptions. He was sacked three times, but he did rush for 13 yards in a touchdown. Uh, Jaron, Jaron Mangum, 16 rushes, 53 yards and two touchdowns. And Jimmy Horn Jr., five catches, 108 yards and one touchdown. Cincinnati ended up with 506 total yards. South Florida, 346 total yards. And after what uh, happened with Cincinnati the week before, uh, I would say this is probably a lot better performance in the CFP's eyes. Still, you still would like to maybe see them score a couple more touchdowns, but it is what it is. We'll see what happens when the rankings come out tonight. Uh, Boise State 23, Wyoming 13. Hank Bachmeyer for Boise State was 23 for 32, 225 yards, one touchdown. Uh, George Haloni, 20 carries for 102 rushing yards. Andrew Van Buren, one rushing touchdown, and Riley Smith had a touchdown catch for Boise. Uh, for Wyoming, they scored in the fourth quarter, and that was it. All their points came in the fourth. Levi Williams was 11 for 18, 156 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, Titus Swan rushed for 59 yards and a touchdown, and Isaiah Nair had six catches, 126 yards, and one touchdown. Damn, I'll be glad my eyes get back to normal. Man. Okay, uh, Saturday, Clemson 44, UConn 7. Hmm. It was 30-7 to 7 at halftime, Clemson. They were just beating up on poor UConn. Uh, quarterback DJ was 21 for 44, 241 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Uh, Phil Mack and Taviar Fonomonic, I don't know how to say his name. Uh, they each have rushing touchdowns. And Jake... Uh, Bringing Stuhl and Bo Collins had touchdown catches for Clemson. Uh, kicker B.T. Porter had 13 points in that game. Utah scored. Utah uh, UConn scored a touchdown in the in the uh, first quarter. Uh, nine nine yard kickoff return by Brian Bruton. So pretty good for them. Clemson had 476 total yards and UConn only. UConn only ended up with 100 total yards. It's Probably why they've, they've won, what, one game? Uh, Houston 37, Temple 8. Clayton Toon for Houston was 21 for 34, 224 yards, two touchdowns. He was sacked three times. Althaw McCaskill rushed for 129 yards on 21 carries and two touchdowns. Um, Tazon Henry had a rushing touchdown. Seth Green and Jalen Irwin each had uh, touchdown catches for Houston. Temple scored their TD and two-point conversion in the fourth quarter. Edward Sadie had the touchdown. Houston ended up with 446 total yards and Temple 218 total yards. Kansas State 34, West Virginia 17. Skylar Thompson for Kansas State was 14-19, 138 yards, one touchdown. Deuce Vaughn had 25 rushes, 121 yards, and one touchdown. And Joe Irvin rushed for a touchdown. Uh, Sammy Wheeler caught a touchdown pass, and kicker Chris Tennant was responsible for 10 points for the Wildcats. West Virginia quarterback Jared Doge, 27-45, 268 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked three times. Winston Wright Jr. and Reese Smith each had touchdown catches for West Virginia, and Kansas State ended up with 299 total yards, and West Virginia 345 total yards. That That's a... Uh, that's a trend for this week. Remember the week we had kickers that were doing really well and all kinds of stuff? Um, seems like the trend when I was going through everything was a lot of losing teams have more total yards than the winning team. Crazy. All right, uh, Rutgers 38, Indiana 3. Isaiah Pachero rushed for 29 yards and two touchdowns for Rutgers. Noah Verdahl and Aaron Young had touchdown runs each. Charles Campbell kicked their field, kicked uh, Indiana's field goal in the second quarter. They got their three points for him. 
Uh, Rutgers, 320 total yards. Indiana, 262 total yards. Wisconsin, 35. Northwestern, 7. Uh, Grand March for Wisconsin was 18 for 23, 216 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Braylon Allen had 25 carries for 173 yards and three touchdowns. Damn good day for him. Danny Davis the third, three catches, 46 yards and a touchdown. And Jake Ferguson had four catches for 43 yards and a touchdown. Uh, A.J. Hampton Jr. for Northwestern had a 49-yard fumble recovery for a touchdown in the fourth. And that's where they finally got points on the board. Wisconsin, 497 total yards. And the Northwestern, 239 total yards. All right, Michigan, 21. Penn State, 17. Cade McNamara for Michigan, 10 for 29. 217 yards. Three touchdowns. Sacked two times. Um, Hassan Haskins. Hassan, Hass Hassan Haskins. 31 rushes, 186 yards. Uh, Eric Hall, four catches, 64 yards and a touchdown. And Rowan Wilson, three catches, 31 yards, two touchdowns. For Penn State, Sean Clifford was 23 for 43, 205 yards, one touchdown, sacked seven times in this game by the Michigan defense. Kayvon Lee had 88 rushing yards. Uh, Tyler, Woman had, Tyler Woman had the touchdown. Uh, Parker Washington had 92 receiving yards, and kicker Jordan Strout was nine points for the Nittany Lions. All right, uh, Florida, this was a crazy-ass game. Florida 70, Sanford 52. Um, Sanford led for a lot of that game, and it looked like it was, <laughs> the way that the Florida was playing, it looks like Dan Mullen was going to be gone Saturday night. I mean, it just did not, I don't know if they, so, I don't know if they said, hey, it's Sanford, we can win this game, no problem, and just thought they could roll their helmets out there and win, or or well, maybe Florida's just not, just doesn't care anymore, who knows, but they ended up pulling it out. Uh, man, they get, but uh, Sanford getting a heck of a ball game. Uh, Emory Jones for Florida, 28 for 34, 464 yards, six touchdowns, rushed for 86 yards and a touchdown. Damian Pierce, seven rushes for 78 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Kimor Gamble, six catches, 122 yards and two touchdowns. Malik Davis, Nacon Wright, Damian Pierce, and J. Marcus Weston all had touchdown catches for Florida. Sam first quarterback, Lean Welch, 33 for 52, 400 yards and three touchdowns. Rush for 65 yards and two touchdowns. They got a damn good quarterback there. He might be playing pro one day. Uh, Montel Washington rushed for 19 yards and a touchdown. Um, he also had 10 catches for 124 yards and a touchdown. And a 98-yard kickoff return. So Sanford's got some damn good players. They get, that's probably why they gave Florida such a damn good game. Uh, Florida ended up with 717 total yards. And Sanford, 530 total yards. Uh, Alabama, 59. New Mexico State, 3. Uh, Bama was one at 49-3 at the half. It's like, jeez. Uh, Bryce Young was 21 for 23, 270 yards, five touchdowns. Brian Robinson Jr., nine carries, 99 yards, two touchdowns. Trey Sanders, 12 carries, 66 yards and a touchdown. Jamison Williams had six catches, 158 yards and three touchdown catches. Uh, Cameron Latu and Jaleel Billingsley each had touchdown catches for the Crimson Tide. And New Mexico State, to keep from getting shut out, Ethan Albertson kicked a 50-yard field goal in the first to get some points on the board. So, at least you got that. Uh, this is a crazy-ass game, too. Mississippi State, 43. Auburn, 34. Auburn was up 28-10 to 10 at the half. And I don't know what happened in the second quarter. They thought, oh, we got Mississippi State, or they just decided to take a nap or something. I don't know. Uh, Will Rogers from Mississippi State, 44 for 55, 415 yards, six touchdowns. Malik Polk and Jameer Calvin each had two touchdown catches for Mississippi State. And um, Malik Heath and Dillian Johnson each had a touchdown catch. Bo Nix was 27 for 41, 377 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, had a leg injury. He's out for the season. He had surgery this morning. So it's going to be interesting seeing where... Auburn goes from here on out because they got that big game coming up, Iron Bowl, in a week or two. And then uh, I'll, without Bo Nix, I don't know. 
Uh, Tank Bigsby, 16 rushes, 41 yards, two touchdowns. And Kobe Hudson had eight catches, 107 yards, and one touchdown for Auburn. Mississippi State, 487 total yards. Auburn, 483 total yards to finish. Uh, another crazy game here, too. Baylor 27, Oklahoma 14. Not so much crazy throughout the game because uh, both offenses and both defense played pretty well. Uh, Baylor played a little bit better than Oklahoma, but the ending was crazy. We'll go over that in a minute. Uh, Jerry Bohannon for Baylor. Seven, uh, 12 for 21, 117 yards, one touchdown. He also rushed for 107 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Tyquan Thornton had four catches, 41 yards, and one touchdown. And kicker Isaiah Haskins had nine points for the Bears. Caleb Williams for Oklahoma, 10 for 19, 146 yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked three times. Kennedy Brooks rushed for 51 yards on the touchdown. And Caleb Williams rushed for 17 yards on the touchdown. This game was 7-7 at the half. So, at the end of it. Um, at the beginning of the game, Baylor fans, even the president or something, said, hey, if we win, we're storming the field. So they did. Evidently, they didn't count down good enough because there's still one second left on the clock. And so they stopped. They stopped. Hey, you know, get off the field. Get off the field. Still got one second. Lincoln Riley's yelling at the coaches. We still got – this is why I don't get here. Okay. Baylor's winning. They got the ball. There's one second left on the clock. Lincoln Riley's over here telling the refs, hey, we still got one second. And my thought is, well, what do you think you're going to do? Get the ball and score three touchdowns in half a second? I mean, I don't get it. I would have just said, you know what? If it's okay with y'all, let's just call it and go. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, so instead of taking a knee, Baylor says, screw it. We'll kick a field goal. So they kick a field goal and up at 27. So when you think about it, Lincoln Riley was arguing to the refs, hey, Get them off the field. Let Baylor score more points on us. I mean, that's what it comes down to, right? Anyway, they get their first loss. Uh, Baylor played really, really well. Uh, I wasn't sure if they were going to win this game. But then again, like I said all along, Oklahoma's been flirting with losing all year, and it finally caught up to them. I mean, heck, Tulane almost got them. Nebraska almost got them. Kansas almost got them. A couple others. So finally caught up to them this week. Uh, SMU 55, UCF 28, Tanner Morduso, I guess that's how you say his name, still haven't learned it, 37 for 54, 377 yards, three touchdowns, one interceptions for the Mustangs, Ulysses Bentley rushed for almost 100 yards in the touchdown, Trey Siggers rushed for 93 yards, 11 carries, and three touchdowns, Rasheen Rice, Richie Robertson, Grant Kyle Soterra, and all had TD catches. And kicker Blake Mazza had 13 points for SMU. Uh, Central Florida, Mike King, quarterback, 18 for 35, 134 yards, one touchdown, sacked six times by the SMU defense. Uh, Mark Anthony Richards had, had uh, eight rushes for 104 yards and two touchdowns. And Ryan O'Keefe had a receiving touchdown. Parker Navarro also had a rushing touchdown for Central Florida. SMU ended up with 631 total yards, and UCF ended up with 333 total yards. Um, UCF is 6-4 and four now. Uh, I really thought with um, Gus Malzahn coming in and the talent that UCF is, or has it's had over the last several years, I really thought they would be better than 6-4. and four. Uh, I'm not saying they'd be undefeated, but two, maybe three losses at the most. But um, I don't know. It's like I've always said, it's crazy how football works. Uh, Army 63, Bucknell 10. Tyson Riley, Christian Anderson, Jamal Jones, uh, Tahir Tyler, Morkins Pierce, Jacoby Buchanan, um, Sherry Williams, Anthony Atkins, all had rushing touchdowns for Army. So basically, they had that ground attack kicking ass this week. Um, I. Jane Mitchell had a. I. John Marshall had a receiving touchdown. Sorry, guys. These, my eyes need to get back to normal soon because I'm getting tired of this crap. Uh, Jared Cooper had a 19 yard rushing touchdown for Bucknell. 
Uh, Army ended up with 486 yards and Bucknell 175 total yards. Louisville 41, Syracuse 3. Syracuse kicked their field goal in the first quarter, and that was it. We're good. We're done. That's cool. Um, Lee Cunningham for Louisville, 13 for 18, 209 yards, four touchdowns, and he rushed for a touchdown. Amiri Huggins Bruce had two touchdown catches. Jordan Watkins and Tyler Harrell each had a touchdown catch for Louisville. Uh, Orangeman had, get this, 46 passing yards, 138 rushing yards, 184 total yards in this game. Louisville ended up with 382 total yards. Uh, East Carolina 30, Memphis 29, one-point game. Quarterback Holton Althers for Eastern Carolina, 29 for 46, 313 yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked six times by the Memphis defense. Uh, he did rush for 46 yards and a touchdown, so he did have, he did have some success there. Uh, Keaton Mitchell and Rajay Harris each had a rushing touchdown for East Carolina. Taylor Sneed had 113 receiving yards. Kicker Owen Daffer was responsible for nine points. Uh, Seth Hennigan from Memphis, 15 for 26, 233 yards, three touchdowns, rushed for 61 yards. And also, uh, Rodriguez Clark had a rushing touchdown. Eddie Lewis and Asia Martin and Sean Dykes all had TD, TD uh, catches for Memphis. Uh, East Carolina, 502 total yards. Memphis ended up at 341 total yards. Uh, Maine, 35, UMass, 10. UMass scored uh, their points in the first quarter, and that was it. It was all Maine the rest of the way. Uh, Joe, quarterback Joe Ferrano for, for Maine, 16 for 27, 209 yards, two touchdowns. Elijah Barnwell had 16 rushes for 84 yards and two touchdowns. And Freddie Bark had 74 rushing yards and a touchdown for the Black Bears. Devin Young and Sean Bowman each had touchdown catches for Maine. UMass, uh, Josiah Johnson had an eight-yard TD catch. And then um, Cameron Corwin kicked the field goal for 42 yards to make it 10 total points for UMass. Maine ended up with 366 total yards, UMass 297. Uh, Utah 38, Arizona 29. This game was 21-17 at the half. Arizona trying to get that second win bad. Uh, Utah's Cameron Rising, 19 for 30, 294 yards, two touchdowns. He also rushed for 22 yards and a touchdown. Uh, TJ Pledger had 25 carries, 119 yards, two touchdowns for Utah. And Brant Cuthy and Dalton Kincaid had touchdown catches for the Utes. Uh, Arizona's Will Plummer, 19 for 34, 223 yards, one touchdown, sacked twice. He also ran for 50 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Michael Wiley, four catches, 48 yards, and a touchdown catch. Uh, Wildcats had a block punt for a TD. Sack since Arizona won, they've woken up, and they're playing a lot better. Like, imagine what can happen if you win the first game of the year. You might be playing that way the whole year, huh? Uh, Western Kentucky, 42. Rice, 21. Uh, this game was uh, 28 to nothing until the third quarter. Offense slept through the first half for Rice, but then they started scoring. Uh, Bailey Zape, man, I'm big on this guy. This guy's this guy's incredible. He's just not getting enough love across the country. 34 for 42, 482 yards, five touchdowns, and one interception. And if you go look at his stats, he's got over 3,000 passing yards and over 30 touchdowns. But nobody talks about him, I guess, because he plays for Western Kentucky. But if, I'll tell you, if I had a Heisman vote, the guy would probably be number one on my Heisman vote. Uh Kai Robicho, 12 rushes for 61 yards and a touchdown. He also had a receiving touchdown. Mitchell Tinsley, 10 catches, 198 yards, two touchdowns. Pretty good day for him. Dalvin Smith and Joe Bajon have TD catches for Western Kentucky. Uh, for Rice, quarterback Jake Constantine, 28 for 50, 380 yards, one touchdown, four interceptions, sacked three times. Uh, Katon Griffin and Juma... Otavero, each had a rushing touchdown for Rice. Cedric Parker, Parkinson the third, had seven catches, 89 yards in a TD. And August Petrie the third had nine catches for 133 yards for Rice. 
Uh, Hilltoppers, 587 total yards. And the Owls, 504 total yards. Uh, Georgia State, 42. Coastal Carolina, 40. Darren Granger for Georgia State, 18 for 24. 198 yards, two touchdowns. Tucker Gregg, 18 carries, 67 yards, two touchdowns. And Terrence Dixon and Audrey Payne each have receiving touchdowns for Georgia State. And sorry to back up. Tucker Gregg did he had three touchdowns for uh for uh, Georgia State, not two. Uh Coastal Carolina, Brian Brees Carpenter, quarterback, 17 for 29, 233 yards, one touchdown. Uh what does that say there? Sacked four times and had an interception. I feel like I should be old man glasses. <laughs> Uh, Braden Bennett, 10 carries, 128 yards, 75-yard touchdown run for him. Shamari Jones, 16 carries, 65 yards, and three touchdowns. And Isaiah Likely, seven catches, 101 yards, and one touchdown. Appalachian State, third, oh wait, Georgia State, 373 total yards. And there you go, Coastal Carolina, they lost, but they have more total yards, 442 total yards. So the trend continues this week. Uh, Appalachian State 31, South Alabama 7. Uh, Chase Price for App State 14 for 26, 195 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. He did rush for a touchdown. Thomas Hennigan and Corey Sutton had touchdown catches for App State. Uh, Desmond Trotter for South Alabama threw a 27-yard touchdown pass to Jacob Hopper in the second quarter for their points so they wouldn't get shut out. App State, 330 yards total. And um, South Alabama, 279 total yards. Um, another note here I have. Um, Trey Cobb for App State had a 100-yard pick six. That's pretty incredible. Uh, Georgia Southern, 38. Texas State, 30. This game was 17 to, 7, 17 to 17 at the half. Tie game at halftime. Uh, Georgia Southern's Cam Ransom, 7 for 12, 125 yards and a touchdown. Jalen White, 10 rushes, 82 yards, 2 touchdowns. Derwin Burgess, uh, 55 catches, 134 yards and a touchdown. And Tyrell Davis blocked a punt and returned it 20 yards for a touchdown. Uh, Tyler Vitt for Texas State was 28 for 45, 261 yards, no touchdowns. He had an interception. Calvin Hill and Johnny Jeter each had rushing touchdowns. Kenny Haynes blocks the punt for a touchdown for Texas State. And kicker Kef, Seth Keller had 12 points. Uh, Georgia Southern, 395 total yards. Texas State, 339 total yards. Uh, Florida State, 31. Miami, 28. Remember when both these teams were in the top five when they played each other all those years ago? Man, now look at them. Uh, Florida State's Jordan Travis, 18 for 26, 274 yards, no touchdowns. Sacked three times, but he did rush for 62 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Deshaun Corbin, 68 rushing yards and a touchdown. Kicker Ryan Fitzgerald had 11 points. Miami quarterback Tyler Van Dyke was 25 for 47, 316 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked three times by the Knowles defense. Uh, Will Mallory... Jordan Knighton, Mike Henry, uh, Keyshawn Smith all had touchdown catches for Miami. Uh, Florida State, 434 total yards, and Miami, 359 total yards. Uh, Florida State, it was 20, it was, what was it, 20 to 7 at the half. Um, they're looking better than it did. Still not the Florida State we know, but Boston College, 41, Georgia Tech, 30. Uh, Phil Jerkovic for uh, Boston College, it, 13 for 20, 310 yards, two touchdowns. He rushed for 71 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, Zay Flowers had two catches, 87 yards for two touchdowns. And kicker Connor Lighton had 11 points for Boston College. Uh, Yellow Jackets quarterback Jordan Yates, 17 for 28, 126 yards, one touchdown, one interception, sacked three times. But he also rushed for 47 yards and a scoring touchdown. Uh, Jameer Gibbs, 19 carries, 96 yards and a touchdown. Malik Carter, two catches, 20 yards, one touchdown, and a 98-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Uh, Eagles end up with 505 total yards. Yellow Jackets, 343 total yards. 
Uh, Vatek 48, Duke 17. Uh, Braxton Burmeister for Vatek, 9 of 15, 215 yards, two touchdowns, one inter no, three touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Raheem Blackshear, 12 carries, 117 yards, and a touchdown, and he had a TD catch. Keyshawn Keen rushed for 90 yards and one touchdown, and he had a touchdown catch. Caleb Smith, two catches, 64 yards for one touchdown. Um, Tavion Gorbett had a fumble recovery for a touchdown. And kicker John Parker Romo had 12 points for Vautech. Uh Jordan Moore, four yard for uh, Duke, four yard touchdown run. Eli Pankoy had a 28 yard TD catch. Um, they don't, Duke only rushed for 113 yards in this game. Virginia Tech, 573 total yards. Duke, 343 total yards. So Vautech beats Duke and. Next week, they fired Justin Fuente. I mean, I can understand if he lost to Duke getting fired, but, man, you beat Duke like that? No, I guess they were just tired of it. Uh, Iowa 27, Minnesota 22. This was a one-point game in the third. Uh, Alex, Pad Alex Padilla for Iowa, 11 for 24, 206 yards, two touchdowns. He also ran for a touchdown. Charlie Jones, uh, two catches, 106 yards and a touchdown. Keegan Johnson, two catches, 34 yards, and a touchdown. And kicker Caleb Shaduk, nine points, all for Iowa. For Minnesota, Tanner Morgan, 14 for 30, 183 yards, one touchdown, sacked two times. Chris Autumn Bell had five catches for 109 yards and a touchdown. And, and uh, Cole Keith, can I guess how you say his name? Cole Keith, two catches, 48 yards, and a touchdown for Minnesota. Uh, Iowa, 277 total yards. So there we go. Minnesota, 409 total yards, and they lost. I'm telling you, that was a trend this weekend. Uh, Ohio State, 59. Purdue, 31. Purdue was going to try and make, play spoiler again. Didn't quite work out. C.J. Stroud was 31 for 38. 361 yards, five touchdowns. Trayvon Henderson, 13 rushes for 98 yards and two touchdowns. Grant Wilson had 10 catches for 126 yards. And three touchdowns. That fucking Ohio State uh, offense, boy, they're on it, huh? Quarterback Adrian O'Connell for Purdue, 40 for 52, 390 yards and four touchdowns. Jackson Anthony, seven catches for 66 yards and two touchdowns. Milton Wright and Brock Thompson had each had touchdown catches for Purdue. Uh, Ohio State, 624 total yards. Purdue, uh, 481 total yards. Uh, Louisiana Tech, 42. Charlotte, 32. Uh, Aaron Allen for Louisiana Tech was 21 for 27, 324 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Marcus Williams, Jr., 29 carries, 131 yards, four running touchdowns for Marcus Williams. Uh, Smoke Harris had eight catches, 98 yards, and a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Uh, for Charlotte, Chris Reynolds was 25 for 42, 448 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, sacked twice, but he also rushed for a touchdown. Cedric Berg was rushed for a touchdown. And Keith Pearson Jr., six catches, 150 yards, and two touchdowns for Charlotte. Louisiana Tech ended up with 504 total yards. And Charlotte, 548 total yards. There's another one. Losers got more total yards. Uh, Georgia, 41. Tennessee, 17. Uh, this was a good game in the first half. And then after halftime, Georgia started walking away with it. But... Pretty competitive there in the first half. Uh, Stetson Bennett for Georgia, 17 for 29, 213 yards, one touchdown. He ran for 40 yards and a touchdown. James Cook had 10 carries for 104 yards and two touchdowns. Also caught a touchdown pass. And kicker Jack uh, Podlinsey, I guess how you say that, 11 points for Georgia. Uh, Hendon Hooker for Tennessee was 24 for 37. 244 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Bulldogs sacked him five times. Cedric Tillman had 10 catches, 260 yards, and a touchdown. And Velas Jones Jr., eight catches, 44 yards, and a touchdown. Georgia ended up with 487 total yards, and Tennessee, 387 total yards. Tennessee's still a good team, though. I mean, uh, man, they get a few more players in there. Uh, over the off season, and who knows what they're going to do next year. I mean, I think Josh, I think Josh Heupel's the right guy for this. Uh, Texas Tech forty one, Iowa State thirty eight. 
Donovan Smith for the Red Raiders was 25 for 32, 322 yards, three touchdowns, one interception, sacked once. Uh, Taja Brooks, 80 rushing yards, one touchdown. Miles Price, nine catches, 175 yards, one touchdown. Eric Izukanama, Izukama, two touchdown catches for the Red Raiders. And kicker Jonathan Garlbay had 11 points for Texas Tech. Uh, Iowa State quarterback Brock Purdy, 32 for 42, 256 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Brees Hall had 18 rushes, 51 yards, two touchdowns, and he caught a touchdown pass. And uh, Charles Kohler had eight catches, 76 yards, two touchdowns. Texas Tech, 529 total yards. Iowa State, 445 total yards. I really thought Iowa State would be a better team than they are this year. I mean, they got guys that can make plays and score. I really thought they would be a lot better than they are. Well, I at least thought they would probably be fighting for the spot in the Big 12 championship game. But uh, Middle Tennessee, 50. Florida International, 10. Florida International playing in their nine-year-old uniforms, according to the coach. Um, Nicholas Vatato from Middle Tennessee, 20 for 24, 147 yards, two touchdowns. Martel Petaway, 11 carries, 95 yards, two touchdowns. Jimmy Marshall, four catches, 51 yards, two touch or one touchdown. And Quentin Riley had a 45-yard pick six from Middle Tennessee. Florida National, Malik Williams, eight-yard touchdown run in the fourth. Uh, Middle Tennessee, 414 total yards. Florida International, 155 total yards. So you see all that with Florida International, maybe you think, hmm, maybe they're trying to do away with football and they're just not telling anybody, huh? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time this happened. Uh, UAB, 21, Marshall, 14. UAB's Dylan Hop Hopkins threw for 250. No touchdowns, but he ran for 26 yards and a touchdown. Dwayne McBride, 25 carries, 108 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Trey Shopshire had 100 receiving yards for UAB. Marshall quarterback Grant Wells, 22 for 39, 232 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, sacked two times. Uh, Corey Gamage, 67 receiving yards with eight catches and one touchdown. And Jaden Harrison had three catches for 65 yards and one touchdown for Marshall. UAB, 338 total yards and Marshall, 269 total yards. Uh, Louisiana, 35, Troy, 21. Uh, this was a one-point game at the half. UL scored 14 unanswered in the third, and that was kind of all that, all that uh, all was written there. Quarterback Levi Lewis for Louisiana, 14 for 21, 166 yards, three touchdowns, ran for 44 yards in the touchdown. Chris Smith ran for 102 yards. Montel Johnson had a rushing TD. Michael Jefferson, Dante Fleming, and Kyrene Lacey all had touchdown catches for the Bulldogs. Troy's quarterback, Gunnar Watson, 29 for 55, 350 yards, one touchdown, one interception, ran for a touchdown. Tess Johnson, six catches, 83 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Louisiana Tech ended up with 370 total yards, and Troy, 391 total yards. There you go. There's another one. Old Dominion, 30, Florida Atlantic, 16. This game was 11 to 3 at the half, and finally some scoring started. Uh, Hayden Wolf, Old Dominion, 21 for 33, 289 yards, one touchdown. Blake Watson, 23 carries, 163 yards, one touchdown. Isaiah Page had a touchdown catch. And kicker Nick Rice was responsible for 10 points. Uh, quarterback no, Nakasi Perry for Florida Atlantic, 12 for 21, 187 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Johnny Ford, 19 carries, 101 yards, and a touchdown. And Brandon Robertson, 59 yards and a TD catch. All right. Old Dominion, 447 total yards. Fort Atlantic, 308. I don't know if I did that or not. Uh, UTSA continues its unbeaten streak. They win over Southern Miss, 27 to 17. But this game was 17 to 17 at the start of the fourth quarter. Uh, UTSA said, hey, nah, -uh, we won't be undefeated. It's Get this thing going. Uh, quarterback Frank Harris for UTSA, 17 for 30, 227 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Sincere McCormick had 19 rushes, 90 yards and a touchdown. 
Joshua Cephas had eight catches, 106 yards and a touchdown. Leroy Watson had a touchdown catch and kicker Hunter Duplessis, responsible for nine points. Uh, Southern Miss, Frank Gore Jr., 20 carries for 123 yards and one touchdown. And Natron Brooks had a 34-yard pick six for Southern Miss. UTSA, 370 total yards. Southern Miss, 189 total yards. Missouri 31, South Carolina 28. This is a three-point game at halftime. Uh, quarterback Connor Bozalak from Missouri, 15 for 23, 180 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Tyler Bodie, 34 carries, 209 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Mookie Cooper and Daniel Parker Jr. had touchdown catches for Missouri. And Trajan Jeffcoat recovered a fumble and ran it back for a touchdown for Missouri. Uh, Jason Brown, quarterback for Carolina, 16 for 30, 193 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, sacked three times. Uh, Zayquandre White and Kevin Harris had rushing touchdowns for South Carolina, and White also caught a touchdown pass. Missouri, 438 total yards. South Carolina, 250 total yards. Michigan State, 40, Maryland, 21. Peyton Thorne for Michigan State, 22 for 30, 287 yards. Four touchdowns, one interception, sat two times. Kenneth Walker the third had 30 rushes, 143 yards, two touchdowns. Jaden Reed, eight catches, 114 yards, two touchdowns. For Maryland, Tolua with 29 for 48, 350 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, one interception, sacked four times by the Spartan defense. Penny Boone, 42 rushing yards and a touchdown. And... Uh, Chagoizim, this guy's name is Chagoizim Okanok, Okanaku. Eight catches, 112 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Sparty ended up with 481 total yards and Terrapins 451 total yards. UNLV, Rebels get their second win of the season. Beat Hawaii 27-13. Uh, UNLV's Charles Williams, 38 rushes, 266 yards, three touchdowns. Kicker Daniel Gutierrez was responsible for nine points. Uh, for Hawaii, Javon Cordero threw a 79-yard touchdown pass to Nick Mordner. And Matthew Shipley kicked a 30, 32 and 43-yard field goal for Hawaii. UNLV, 465 total yards. And Hawaii, 240 total yards. Hmm. Uh, Tulsa, 20. Tulane, 13. Davis Brim for Tulsa. Was 19 for 30, 188 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions, sacked four times. Shamari Brooks had 71 rushing yards and a touchdown. Ezra Naylor, the third, second, seven catches, 62 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Michael Pratt for Tulane, 13 for 30, 178 yards, one touchdown. Ty Josh Spears, 14 carries, 104 yards. And Fat Watts had a touchdown catch for Tulane. Tulsa, 382 total yards. Tulane, 308 total yards. North Texas, 20. UTEP, 17. UTEP was doing damn good there for a while, but they've lost a couple and kind of fallen down a little bit. Uh, North Texas quarterback, Austin Oon. 15 for 33, 240 yards, one touchdown. He also rushed for 44 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Roger Bruins had five catches, 93 yards, one touchdown. And kicker Ethan Money was responsible for eight points for North Texas. UTEP quarterback Gavin Hardison, 15 for 29, 273 yards, one touchdown, one interception, sacked three times. Uh, Ronald DeWalt had 17 rushes, 85 yards, one touchdown. And Jacob Cowing had five catches, 174 yards, and one touchdown. North Texas, 423 total yards. UTEP, 382 total yards. Arkansas State, 27. Law Monroe, 24. Uh, Lane Hatcher for Arkansas State, 34 for 50. 444 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Corey Rucker had seven catches, 103 yards, and a nine-yard rushing touchdown. Uh, Trevelyan's Hunt had eight catches, 96 yards for two touchdowns. And kicker Blake Grudge had nine points for Arkansas State. Uh, Rhett Rodriguez, quarterback for Louisiana Monroe, 12 for 29, 160 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Malik Jackson had 27 rushes, 
166 yards, two touchdowns. And Jevin Frett had a 53 receiving yards and one touchdown for Monroe. Arkansas State, 538 total yards. Law Monroe, 372. Uh, Oregon State, 35. Stanford, 14. Chance Nolan for Oregon State, 19 for 25. 257 yards, two touchdowns. Rush for 29 yards and a touchdown. B.J. Baylor had 23 rushes for 80 yards and a touchdown. And Trevin Bradford, three catches, 80 yards, and a touchdown catch. Uh, Stanford didn't score until the third quarter. Benjamin Yursek had an eight-yard touchdown catch. And Nathaniel Pete had an 18-yard touchdown run. Oregon, 475 total yards. Stanford, 250 total yards. Stanford, another one of those big-time teams that kind of fell off the map the last couple of years. Um, Arizona State, 35. Washington, 30. Washington actually led this game by 10 at the half. And here's the thing I noticed about this game. Washington played a lot better than they have this year. I mean, they were competitive. They were scoring points. And my thought was, hey, Jimmy Lake is suspended for this game. You should spend him for every fucking game. But uh, we don't have to worry about that now because they fired him. So, anyway. Just something I noticed. Uh, quarterback Jane Daniels for Arizona State passed for 90 yards in TDs. Ran for 56 yards in the TD. Uh, Rashad White, 32 rushes, 184 yards, two touchdowns. Curtis Hodges had a TD catch. And Roland Robinson had a 37-yard pick six for Arizona. For Washington, Dylan Morris was 16 for 28. 151 yards, one touchdown. One interception, ran for a touchdown. Cameron Davis had 67 yards and a touchdown. Devin Culp had 28 receiving yards and a touchdown. And Cameron Kamari Pleasant had a rushing touchdown, all for Washington. Uh, Sun Devils, 376 total yards. Huskies, 266 total yards. Uh, Kentucky, 34. Vanderbilt, 17. Kentucky was up 31-3 to at the half. Uh, Will Levis for Kentucky, 14 for 28, 177 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Chris Rodriguez had 16 carries, 114 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Wondell Robinson had six catches, 75 yards and a touchdown. Kicker Matt Ruffalo was responsible for 10 points. And Jalen Geiger had a 31-yard pick six for Kentucky. For uh, Vanderbilt, Ken Seals. 87 passing yards, no touchdowns. Uh, Mike Wright threw two TD passes. Chris Pierce Jr. and Amar Abdur Robinson had TD catches for uh, Vanderbilt. <laughs> uh, Kentucky, 413 yards. Vanderbilt, 266 total yards. Uh, this game here, I mean, I, I don't know what the hell happened. Ole Miss, 29. Texas A&M, 19. This, is, this game was 15 to nothing at the half. Aggies finally wake up in the third quarter and and uh, score some points. Uh, Matt Crowell was 24 for 37, 247 yards, one touchdown. Snoop Connor, 11 carries, 55 yards, and one touchdown. A.J. Finley, 52-yard pick six. And kicker Caden Costa had nine points. Which says about the Aggie defense, the Aggies' defense has played a lot better than they have. I mean, um... Matt Crow, he has some good numbers, but not like he usually does. Um, it's just the same. The offense didn't didn't match up to what the defense was doing. Um, quarterback Zal Zal Calzado, 24 for 41, 237 yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions. Uh, Damian Acne, 12 catches, 110 yards, two touchdowns. And Keith Small kicked seven points for AM. Ole Miss, 505 total yards. A&M, 378 total yards. This brings up a question here. Uh, A&M's the main team on Route 4. They're just like 45 minutes up the road here. Uh, I root for a lot of other teams. So let me ask you a question. How many losses before you kind of push your team to the side to start watching other big games on TV? Uh, I've reached mine with three... A&M, they lost those two games they shouldn't have. I was pissed. Then they beat Alabama. Then there's talk of them they could still get into the SEC championship game. So my interest peaked back up. But after three losses, if there's not another good game on, I'll watch them. But if there's other good games on, I'm going to watch them instead. 
so, so how, do you follow your team the whole year, even if they're zero and ten going into the last few weeks, and you know root them on, or after a while do you just hope they do good and watch something else? Because I'm at the point with A&M where, hey, I hope you win, hope you do good, but this game's on, and it's probably going to be a lot better. So, I don't know. Call me a bandwagon fan, whatever you want to call me. I don't care. It's just that when you put up with this kind of stuff for as long as I have, and plus pro football here in town with the Houston Oilers and Texans, you kind of just do good or I'm going here type of attitude. All right, Air Force 35, Colorado State 21. Uh, quarterback Hazid Daniels for Air Force, 14 for 11. 121 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Brad Roberts, 32 carries, 151 yards, two touchdowns. Brandon Lewis had a 92-yard TD catch. Uh, Colorado State quarterback Todd Centillo threw for 173 yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions. He ran for 55 yards and a touchdown. David Bailey had 18 rushes for 49 yards and two rushing touchdowns for the Rams. Uh, Falcons, 509 total yards. Rams had 308 total yards. Um, Fresno State, 34, New Mexico, 7. Uh, Bulldogs were winning 24 to nothing at the half. Uh, quarterback Jake Hayner for Fresno, 24 for 31. 300 yards, three touchdowns. Not too bad. Sacked three times, but still. Ronnie Rivers had 20 carries, 71 rushing yards, one touchdown. Uh, Jordan Mims, four catches, 103 yards, one touchdown. Josh Kelly and Raymond Pavwells each had touchdown catches for the Bulldogs. Um, for New Mexico, Aaron Dumas ran for a one-yard touchdown to keep them from getting shut out. Uh, Fresno State, 397 total yards. Lobos only had 196 total yards in that game. Um, this I thought this was going to be a good game. I ended up turning it because it wasn't. <laughs> watching watching another game. Uh, Notre Dame 28, Virginia 3. Virginia didn't score until the fourth quarter. Finally kicked the field goal to keep getting shut out. Uh, Jack Cohn 15 for 20, 132 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Uh, Kyrene Williams, 14 carries for 70 yards and a touchdown. Michael Mayer, 7 catches, 84 yards and a touchdown. Kevin Austin Jr. and Brandon Lindsay each had touchdown catches for the Irish. Uh, for Virginia, Brandon Farrell kicked a 34-yard field goal in the fourth to keep from getting shut out. Uh, Notre Dame, 423 total yards. Virginia, 278 total yards. Uh, I actually turned it to this game because this game was pretty damn good. Wake Forest 45, North Carolina State 42. 24 to 20 at halftime. Uh, Sam Hartman for Wake Forest, 20 for 49, 290 yards, three touchdowns, three interceptions, sacked three times, but he also rushed for 43 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Justin Ellison, 17 carries for 56 yards and two touchdowns. A.T. Perry, five catches, 73 yards and a touchdown. For North Carolina State, quarterback Devin Leary, 27 for 59, 408 passing yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked twice. Uh, Mika Amizi, 10 catches, 133 yards, two touchdowns. Devin Carter, seven catches, 132 yards, and two touchdowns. And Zonovan Knight, 100-yard kickoff return for a touchdown for the Wolfpack. Uh, Wake Forest, 406 total yards. North Carolina State, 482 total yards. So that was a pretty good game. All right, this one here. This, this is cr Arkansas, 16. LSU, 13. Uh, Arkansas's KJ Jefferson, 18 for 25. 142 yards. One touchdown. Sacked three times. Dominic Johnson, two catches for 40 yards and a touchdown. And kicker Cam Little had 10 points. LSU quarterback Garrett Neusmeyer. We'll get on this here in a second. 18 for 21, 179 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, sacked twice. Uh, Jack Beach, four catches, 66 yards, and a touchdown. Quarterback Max Johnson played one series. Okay, now, those of you who've seen the show know my rooting goes AM, then LSU, and a few others. Um, like I've said before, my wife went to LSU. She's from Louisiana, so 
I didn't get what was going on here. Um, went out to dinner, came back a little late, turned on the game, and this guy, Garrett Neusmeyer, freshman, I guess, is playing quarterback. I was like, oh, crap, what happened to Mac Johnson? You know, is Johnson out? What happened to him? No, they decided, hey, here's the idea. We suck this year. This is a rivalry game. We have the trophy for like the last five years. Let's do two quarterbacks tonight. Yeah, that sounds like a damn good idea. Yeah, yeah, let's play two quarterbacks tonight. So this guy comes in. He had decent numbers. But you have Max Johnson on the sideline who's got over 2,000 passing yards, over 20 touchdowns, and you're experimenting in this game, a rivalry game, a trophy game. Here's the scoring here. First quarter, LSU scored three points. Second quarter, LSU scored seven points. Uh, third quarter... They score zero points. Fourth quarter, they score three points. Uh, overtime, zero. I'm still trying to figure out why in the hell this guy was playing. Now, if he's a quarter, if he's going to be quarterback of the future, hey, great. That's why you got spring ball and spring practice for all that. And you also got games if you're getting blown out 50 to nothing to put him in in the third and fourth to get some snaps. But I'm not understanding why he was start, why he came in and played the rest of the game when you got Max Johnson on the sideline. Uh, I've been a fan of Coach O's. I support him. When I found out he was leaving a few weeks ago, I was kind of bummed out about it because I was like the guy. I would like to have them have given him just one more year. But after what I saw Saturday, the president should have come down to the locker room, told all his coaches, pack your crap and be out of these offices in an hour. Because why the hell... Would you have a game plan like that in this game? I don't get it. Um, so I'll, I don't care what they do the rest of the year. I'm, I'm going to concentrate on the basketball and the baseball coming up. Football team can do whatever the hell it wants because obviously the coaches do. So, all right, my rant's over. Uh, hey, check this crap out here. Kansas 57, Texas 56. <laughs> going to Austin and beat them by one. Uh, but KU is leading 35-14 to 14 at the half. Uh, Jalen Daniels, quarterback for Kansas, 21 for 30, 202 yards, three touchdowns, rushed for 45 yards and a touchdown. Devin Neal had 24 carries, 143 yards, three touchdowns, 26 receiving yards and a touchdown. Uh, Kwame Lasseter, eight catches, 68 yards and a touchdown. Mason Fairchild had 31 receiving yards and a touchdown. Uh, Jacob Bryant, 31-yard pick six for Kansas. And he also had rush for 28 yards and a touchdown. No, I'm sorry. That's the other people. He had J Jack Brent Bryant only had a 31-yard pick six. Okay, for Texas, Casey Thompson, 30 for 43, 358 yards, six touchdowns. Not too bad. One interception, rush for 28 yards and a touchdown. Still not too bad. Xavier Worthy, 14 catches, 152 yards, and three touchdowns. Not too bad. Um, Mars Washington, five catches, 100 yards, two touchdowns. Not too bad. Bijan Robinson and Cole and Kay Brewer each had touchdown catches. Kansas up with 420 total yards. Texas, 574 total yards. So, with this game here, if you recall, Kansas was leading Oklahoma for a long time. I almost beat them, too. Is Kansas really that good? They're just not getting credit for it? Or is Texas really that bad and people just aren't saying? Uh, because Texas put up some damn good numbers. They, you look at those numbers, you would have thought they won that game. Uh, I mean, granted, they only lost by one point. But still, um, I've seen a lot of things online. Well, first of all, this is like Texas's first five-game losing streak since 1956, something crazy like that. But I went over to some Texas pages on Sunday, and uh, a lot of people are saying, this is what happens when you let alumni and boosters run your program and boot a coach every three years. They don't get any time to build, put all their uh, stuff in, all their whatever, and this is what happens, and you stop doing that. And I'm in agreement with that. I'm old school. I remember back in the days where, like, uh, um, you give coaches, you know, years, there wasn't this now. I must win now mentality. A um, lot of coaches, legendary coaches, they're at their schools 10, 15 years before they even started winning national championships. 
But now today, it's just like, nope, win this one in two years or you're gone. I mean, it's like, really? So I'm actually agreeing with these Texas fans. I mean, you got to give a guy time to build. And um, everybody's saying, I mean, but half the people are like, fire Sark today. He ain't the guy. And the other half of the Texas fans are saying, no, keep him. Give, give him a few years. He's a good coach. So uh, I don't know, but Texas is in a world of hurt right now. and They need to figure something out. All right, uh, Oklahoma State 63, TCU 17. Oklahoma State was up 42 to 3 in the third. Ooh. Uh, Spencer Sanders for Cowboys 17 for 25, 225 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Dominic Richardson 12 rushes, 134 yards, two touchdowns. Jalen Warren 17 rushes, 113 yards, and two touchdowns. Uh, Desmond Jackson 15 rushes, 68 yards, and two touchdowns. For TCU, quarterback Chandler Morris, 103 passing yards, no touchdowns, sacked five times. Mm. Imari DeMarcado, 90 rushes and a touchdown. 90 rushing yards and a touchdown, I'm sorry. Uh, Colt Ellerson had a 28-yard touchdown from a fumble recovery for the Horned Frogs. Uh, Cowboys, 682 total yards. Horned Frogs, 273 total yards. Uh, UCLA 44, Colorado 20. Um, Colorado was actually winning by 10 at the half. But uh, UCLA came storming back. Uh, Darian Thompson Robinson for UCLA, 18 for 27, 287 yards, 200, uh, zero touchdowns. He rushed for 99 yards in a touchdown. Zach Charbonnet, 17 rushes, 67 yards, three touchdowns. Not too bad. Kyle Phillips, 82 yard. Punt return for a touchdown for UCLA. Uh, Colorado, Alex Fontenot, 11 rushes, 32 yards. I'm sorry, 52 yards and two touchdowns. Kicker Cole Becker, responsible for eight points for Colorado. UCLA, 502 yards. Colorado, 359 total yards. All right, Utah State, 48. San Jose State, 17. Logan Bonner for Utah State was 20 for 33. 263 yards, four touchdowns, uh, one interception. Calvin Tyler had 21 rushes for 61 yards and a touchdown. Derek Wright had three catches for 50 yards and two touchdowns. And kicker Connor Coles had 12 points for the for the Aggies. Um, San Jose State's Tyler Nevins had a one-yard touchdown rush. And Keegan Raid had a 58-yard pick six for him. Utah State, 410 total yards. San Jose State, 150 total yards. Oregon, 38. Washington State, 24. This was a 14-14 game at the half. Uh, Anthony Brown for Oregon, 17 for 22. 135 yards, one touchdown. Rushed for 123 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Brian Cardwell, nine rushes, 98 yards, two touchdowns. Travis Dye rushed for 88 yards and a touchdown. He had 25 receiving yards also. He also caught a touchdown pass. And kicker Cameron Lewis was responsible for eight points. Uh, Washington State quarterback Jaden Delora, 20 for 36, 280 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions, sacked three times, but he also rushed for a touchdown. Um, Travell Harris had eight catches, 109 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Oregon had 441 total yards. Washington State had 371. Uh, this one pretty good game here for first place in the Mountain West, uh, I believe West part. Uh, San Diego State 23, Nevada 21. San Diego State's Lucas Johnson 21 for 34, 176 yards, one touchdown. Chance Bell 55 rushing yards and a touchdown. Daryl Ballinger had a touchdown catch. And kicker Matt Reza, Reza had 11 points. Uh, Nevada is Carson Strong 38 for 48. 350 yards, three touchdowns, sacked three times. Um, Romeo Dobbs had nine catches, 127 yards, two touchdowns. Torrey Horton, eight catches, 91 yards, and a touchdown. San Diego State, 362 total yards. And Nevada, 358 total yards. All right, that's it. But, uh, again, tonight, tomorrow night, called the Mac Attack. Got some Mac games. Uh, tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN Plus, Toledo 5-5 five and five at Ohio 3-7. and seven. Uh, 7.30 Eastern on ESPN 2, Western Michigan 6-4 and four, and Eastern Michigan 6-4. and four. That might be, a, might be a decent game. 
Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern on ESPNU. Bowling Green, 3-7 and seven at Miami of Ohio, 5-5. Five and five. Uh, tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern, Central Michigan, 6 and 4 at Ball State, 5 and 5. Um, that is on ESPNU at 7 Eastern. 7 Eastern on ESPN2, Northern Illinois, 7 and 3 at Buffalo, 4 and 6. All right, uh, got some basketball scores here going back to last Thursday. Uh, like I said, while these are intertwining, we're only going to be doing top 25. And when football is done here in a couple weeks, we're going to go full on basketball. All right, so last Thursday, Maryland 71, George Washington 64. Uh, last Friday, Duke beat Army 82-56. Kentucky beat Robert Morris 160. Ohio State 84, Niagara 74. Virginia 73, Radford 52. Alabama 104, South Dakota State 88. Auburn 93, Louisiana Monroe 65. Houston 79, Rice 46. Kansas 88, Tarleton State 62, Baylor 87, Incarnate Word 60, Purdue 92, Indiana State 67, Illinois 92, Arkansas State 53, North Carolina 94, Brown 87, Oregon 86, SMU 63, and number two, UCLA beat number four, Villanova 86 to 77. Uh, Saturday, you had UConn 89, Coppin State 59, Maryland 68, Vermont 57, Arkansas 86, Gardner-Webb 69, Memphis 90, North Carolina Central 51, Duke 67, Campbell 56, Michigan 77, Prairie View 49, and uh, Gonzaga number one beat number five, Texas 86 to 74. Uh, Sunday, you have Tennessee 94, East Tennessee State 62, Florida 71 over Florida State 55. Uh, Florida State was number 20 at that point. St. Bonnevere 69, Kansas, Kansas, I never know how to say that school's name. Beat them by nine points. Um, yesterday, Baylor 89, Nickel 60, Ohio State 89, Bowling Green 58, Marquette 67, Illinois 66, and Illinois was ranked, looks like, sixth or at the time. Anyway, I'm glad this is over because, like I said, my eyes dilated, just screwed up everything today. Uh, hopefully things will be back to normal at the next show, which will be our Week 12 preview, which is coming up this weekend. Uh, we'll go over Thursday, Friday, and uh, Saturday night, preview those games. Any big games in basketball coming up. Uh, anyway, hey, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, hopefully this, this will stop here soon. The sun will quit blinding me. Um, anyway, hey, y'all have a great day at work. Uh, be careful. We will see you back for our Week 12 preview here in a couple days.